Hello, this is Dr. Eric Bricker, and thank you for watching A Healthcare Z. Today's topic is Signify Health's IPO, valuing the company at $5.4 billion, and how that relates to Medicare Advantage. So, Signify Health just went public on February 11th of 2021, so just this month, and they have $502 million of revenue as of 2019, which got them to a valuation here in 2021 of $5.4 billion. So, I mean, that's a significant amount of revenue, and obviously that is a hugely significant company valuation. So what in the world does Signify Health do? They are a quote-unquote value-based healthcare platform. What in the world does that mean? So Signify Health does the Medicare Advantage risk adjustment scoring for Medicare Advantage plans. So an insurance company hires Signify Health to go out and visit their Medicare Advantage beneficiaries in person to say, okay, well, how sick are you? Do you have diabetes, do you have emphysema, high blood pressure, coronary artery disease? And the sicker that beneficiary is, the more the government pays the Medicare Advantage plan per beneficiary. Because if you're not a very sick beneficiary, the government doesn't pay very much because you're probably going to have as many claims. And if you're a very sick beneficiary, then you're probably going to incur a lot of claims. So the government gives the insurance company even more money to make up for that. So to the extent that the Medicare Advantage plan can take somebody who's sick and collect a lot of money from the government and then make them well so that they don't incur a lot of claims, then the Medicare Advantage plan gets to keep the difference and make more money. So that's why Medicare Advantage plans hire Signify Health. Now, those home assessments are actually done by the Signify Health employees and they document the disease. Now, Signify Health is actually a relatively new company. It was formed by the, create, the combination of Sensio Health and Advance Health in 2018, so just three years ago. Now, Sensio Health had somewhat of a troubled past when there was a whistleblower lawsuit that was filed in 2014, and this employee claimed that Sensio Health was exaggerating the illness severity of the beneficiaries when they went out to do the home visits, and maybe these people weren't even doctors that were doing the home visits, and when they were making all these assessments, they didn't do any treatment. Well, shoot, what's the point of the doctor going out and seeing the person if all they're going to do is document it, but not do anything about their diabetes or their high blood pressure? I mean, the whole point of a home visit is to actually do something about it. Well, Sensio was doing this for 30 plans, 30 different Medicare Advantage plans. So in other words, they weren't just contracted with one health insurance company. They were contracted with a whole bunch of health insurance companies, uh, including Blue Cross plans and even Humana in, across 15 states. I mean, so this was, Sensio was a serious operation, and... This lawsuit was settled in January of 2018. Settled, aha, the same year that Sensio and Advanced Health combined. Maybe it was a coincidence. Now, interestingly, Health Evolution Partners was the private equity firm that had initially invested in uh, Sensio, and David Brailler from Health Evolution Partners was on the board of Sensio. Who is David Brailler? He was the health information czar for President George W. Bush. Isn't that interesting? Now, we had previously talked about other companies that had very high political connections on their boards and with their investors. So let's see how this high connection with David Brailler plays out. Now, this whole, so there's a couple stories going on here, right? So there's the government connection story, but then there's this whole like risk adjustment whistleblower, you know, Medicare Advantage thing, like not being real, right? And guess what? United Healthcare, uh, the Department of Justice filed a suit against United Healthcare for very similar reasons, which has since been dropped. But then Cigna also has a lawsuit filed against it by the Department of Justice, again, for very similar things, for making their beneficiaries appear sicker than they actually were so that they could get paid more money by the government for these uh, quote-unquote risk adjustment payments. And, it's a one, and, the, and the suit is for $1.4 billion. So Cigna is a huge company, but $1.4 billion is still a significant amount of money. Okay, now, the other connection that's very similar to David Brailler was NavaHealth which is a company that I did a previous A Healthcare Z video on, and NavaHealth does discharge planning um, for people that are on Medicare Advantage plans. Aha, again, Medicare Advantage. And it's for time, time there, Thomas Scully was the original uh, 
sort of investor and got on the board of directors. And Thomas Click was also when both President H.W. Bush and George W. Bush's administrations. So what's my point? My point is, is that here we have two companies the, and Nava Health was a multi-billion dollar acquisition by United Health Group. So this is where, other than their value proposition of home assessments or discharge planning, they had incredibly high political connections as it related to like Medicare Advantage, which was the ultimate space that they were in. And then two, this area of Medicare Advantage, frankly, has been having some challenges around whether these assessments are exaggerated or not. And so I wanted to bring that to your attention today, and thank you for watching A Healthcare Z.